Hello uh, YouTube, uh, today I'm going to introduce in uh, a Google Identity Service. So that's uh, actually brand new and uh, before was Identity Platform, right? And a lot of people using platform but now service is uh, even better. So if you want, you can go to YouTube and then look at uh, uh, the document from uh, Google. It's, uh, it's quite useful. Um, here, I'm not going to be uh, detailing about all of this. I just want to show you uh, the way how I implement it. You know, uh, it's a YouTuber right now. Everywhere is it, you know, using JavaScript. But here is a sample. I'm going to show you with with the type with the type script. Okay. As as I show you here right now, so it's credentials. Right, we need to do the credential first. We just set up. And then you, you could have an ID, client ID to use. And then you need a consent page. So the consent page will allow you to uh, to test it, right? And with a specific, uh, you know, the email address. So the third, I'm going to start a code with the type script. Right? It's very simple. It's right here. So let me just explain this to you uh, step at a time. Okay, you need to go to cons uh, console dot Google, uh, sorry, cloud dot Google dot com, right? And the API services, right? And highlighted the credentials from here. You just add your new OAuth two two point zero client ID. This is needed because once you need it, once you get it, you can get a client ID right here. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go through this with you. So, and this is brand new, so you can see follow OWASP client ID. Right, you select the web application, automatically web client three. Right, from here you need to add uh, two things: on the HTTP local host. Also, you need to add HTTP. Three thousand, yeah. If it's a React app, and you need three thousand. This is very important. And then here it's going to be the same thing. Three thousand, and I need to do exactly the same action, right? So then you need to just save it. You're good. As I mentioned, second, so you need to also consent screen. You need to go here to to use to add your email address for the testing. Open it up, right? Test the user. You don't have to worry about the others. And just add your email address right here. Save it. Okay. Since I already have it, and uh, you will see here, then you can uh, just get your client ID right here, copy, and paste this in your program. Right. Now let's jump into the program. So this is a typical React app, right? You can have a uh, install anywhere. So for me, just uh, randomly, just pick one of those, right? View the uh, pages, whatever it's called. It's fine. So in, in uh, on the page, let me just uh, maybe can show you what does page look like. Okay, I already launched three thousand, right? So H one, right? And then you will need to define the uh, uh, a div, so. The store the information. Okay, sign in there. And then then you just judge if it's users there, use object, right? If it's there, so just display the user images. Okay. And then ne next to it will be the button, right? Grace all click it then, handle sign out. Click supposed to be sign out. Right. Okay. So here's the key, you know. The first step is uh, you needed to uh, right here. Okay, you need to add that this is a uh, account called google.com, right? Uh, probably async. Uh, I need to put async. Async. That's right here. Okay, async nicely refer. 
the Google accounts clients information. So as soon as you get to have that, right, that means the Google dot accounts dot ID dot uh, dot initial whatever the Google accounts information, right? You will be able to use it. Okay. And then these will be very very easy, you know, very straightforward. So remember, I have a, a sign out. Forget about this right now. Okay. And uh, when it's page load, right? What I do, I will define user because the user needs to be user right here, right? Define user and the type of script is slightly different than the JavaScript. You need to define the user interface right here, right? And initially, you, you can set it whatever anything else is, so no problem, right? Once you have the user, right? And then use it, use it in fact, hook. So you will start a calling Google accounts ID at initial, which is bringing the client ID. Right, with the callback functions right here so in from here and then you will return handle callback response right there okay then you will be able to get the response to credential so this literally will be the structure of the your user i already decoded it but uh there's a lot i just uh, i just give it four of those Right, you need a debugger to see how many it's going to be like uh, 15 something like that all those attributes you can use right that includes email as well right i didn't do it right now but you can add it here so call back you get this right and then you just uh, store the user object right until the user hook component hooks right so then document get uh, element, uh, element by ID to get a site there. Remember that you show you here, right? So you just turn that on. You should turn it on. Okay, so then you will just see it. Okay, same as here, let me just, just show you. Click here, right? You will be able to see this. And then sign in, bring in the The images so images I get a user that I uh, ID right okay so this is how you're doing it go it and then enable that select right and they're able to return right it, it so, so select yeah then then you will you will get the you know the images objects return and then you just uh, render the you know the component okay and the, uh, let me see, yeah, from here is rendered the component. This is slightly different than the JavaScript. So I, uh, the manager, we have to add a type. If you remove it, it will warning you, this is good, the TypeScript. So that's why you need to have a, the type is missing, right? So JavaScript is mentioned, but we need to add for TypeScript. There's a two, two options. The icon and then, then the standard we can do the icon it's um, easy for me just that standard okay so then uh, run the google account id prompt right so this will push the uh yeah with this this is special this literally just will push uh, uh the icon right uh i mean you know the login fo folder login pages right and uh, is it somewhere i'm not sure for some reason it just pop up right there as you see it's supposed to be next to it it's very pretty okay but i don't know for some reason i didn't get that yet so uh other than that right it's going to be log up button click right handle sign up so then as soon as you click on that you simply just reset the user, right? And then, then turn that uh, sign in the hide it, hide the sign in there with, without uh, not allow people to reclick the back again. It's very simple, right? So let me just show you. Click, yeah. So this will be re hide, uh, re, uh, re displayed, right? And then the image will be hide it because it's a logout, right? 
is triggered by it's controlled by the here as a user. If the user is yes and the user no. I think this is very simple and uh, squirt. And this is uh, something that you can just really one screen. You can just copy from here if you want to. Yeah, I know a lot of people ask questions about how, yeah, uh, because Google only gave the JavaScript. So this is a, a type super set. Okay. Don't forget to add this. But you can find out the details uh, um, tutorial from uh, Google uh, identity service, uh, you know, the team uh, website. All right, so this is all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.